Hi guys, it's, it, this is my first vlog. We are in the Riverside Hotel, it's a Sunday evening, and we are reading The Skull by John Classen. If you have a copy, come read along. If you don't want to, I'll just read to you. One night, in the middle of the night, while everyone else was asleep, Otila finally ran away. Part one, the, the forest, the dark house. Otila ran and ran. She ran through the trees and up hills. She ran for a long time, all through the night. Otila had grown up in this forest, but after a while, the, the trees began to look different. They were getting closer together. Otila kept running. As she ran, Otila began to hear her name being called. She couldn't tell if it was someone's voice or wind in her ears. Otila, 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 Otila. Otila suddenly tripped on, on a fallen branch and fell hard into the snow. She didn't get up. She could not run anymore. She listened for her name, but now it was quiet. Otila lay in the snow, in the dark, in the quiet, and she cried. When she was done crying, she got up and began moving forwards again. All at once the tree stopped. She came out of the woods and into an open yard. In front of her in the distance was a very big old was a very big, very old house. Otila went up to the house. It looked abandoned, but when she tried to open the door it was locked. She knocked loudly to see if anyone was outside, but nobody came to the door. Hello, she called out. Hello, someone answered. Otila looked up to where the voice had come from. In a window above the door, she saw a skull looking at her. Part 2. The skull, the rooms, the dance. The skull moved himself a little so he could see better. Hello, he said again. Hello, said Otila. My name is Otila. I ran away and I need a place to hide and rest. The skull was quiet for a moment. Then he said, I will come down and let you in, but only if you promise to carry me once I do. I am just a skull and rolling around is difficult for me. Otila was quiet for a moment, then she said, All right. The skull left the window. Otila waited outside the door. She waited for a long time. It was very quiet. Then she heard some small scratching on the other side of the door. The latch turned and the door cracked open against the snow. The skull pushed the door open wider. Thank you, said Othila. You're welcome, said the skull. Othila picked him up. She had never picked a, a skull up before. Come in, said the skull. I will show you the house. All right, said Othila. They walked into the hall. This is a nice house, said Othila. Yes, said the skull. I, I have always liked it here. Have you lived here for a long time, said Othila. Yes, said the skull. They went into a room. This is the fireplace room, said the skull. I come here to drink tea by the fire in the evenings. You you can make tea, said Otila. No, not anymore, said the skull. Can you make a fire, said Otila? No, said the skull. They were quiet. Is that you in the picture, said Otila? It used to be, said the skull. They went into this garden room. Oh, I like this room, said Otila. This is my favourite room, said the skull. Can you eat the, pe the pears, said Othila. I can eat the ones that fall on the ground, but I can't reach the good ones on the branches, said the skull. I will get one for you, said Othila. She held a pear for him and he took a bite. The bite of pear went through him and fell onto the floor. Ah, delicious, said the skull. Thank you. <laughs> They went into a room with glass on the walls. What are these glass for, said Otila. I used to collect them, said the skull. Can you wear them, said Otila. They are just for show, said the skull. You're not supposed to wear them. They went downstairs. What is this room, said Otila. This is a dungeon, said the skull. There is nobody in it now. What is this hole, said Otila. This is a, that is a model with pits, said the skull. Othila threw the core of her pear into the hole and listened. It did not make a sound. 
Do you want to see the tower, said the skull. All right, said Okula. They climbed the steps up the tower. Does anyone else know about this house, said Okula? No, said the skull. You're the first person to find it in a very long time. He got to the top and walked onto the balcony. You can see everything from here, said the skull. It's beautiful, said Okila. Careful, said the skull. The wall is not very high and it's a long way down if you fall. They looked out over the forest. You said you ran away, said the skull. Yes, said Okila. You don't want them to find you? No, said Okila. I don't. The skull waited to see if she wanted to say any more, but she didn't. All right, said the skull. Then he said, there was a big room I haven't shown you. How big, said Otila? This is the biggest room I have ever seen, said Otila. This is a ballroom, said the skull. It was for dancing. There were lots of dances here. I went to a dance once, said Otila, but it was not in a room like this. I did like the dancing, though. I love dancing, said the skull. Otila put her mask back on. She carried the skull into the middle of the ballroom. She held him to her, to face her. Would you care to dance, sir, said Otila. My lady, said the skull. They danced and danced and danced until it got dark. Part 3. The Secret, the Bedroom, the Headless Skeleton. When it was dark, Otila made some tea and the fire in the fireplace room. Would you give me some tea, please, said the skull. Otila took a, a teacup and poured the tea through his mouth and onto the chair. Ah, nice and warm, said the skull. Thank you. You can spend the night here if you want to, said the skull. I do want to, said Otila. There is something I should tell you, said the skull. Otila put her deed in. There's a skeleton that comes here to this house, said the skull. It's a headless skeleton. It walks around the halls looking for me. When it finds me, it chases me. Has it ever caught you, said Otila? No, said the skull quietly, but I am not as fast as I used to be. Otila looked closely at the skull. You don't want it to catch you. No, whispered the skull. I don't. Will it come tonight, said Otila? The skull looked at the fire. It comes every night, she said. Otila looked at the fire too. All right, she said. She kept looking at the fire and she started to think. When it was time to go to sleep, the skull showed Otila to a bedroom. It was a nice room. There was a big comfortable bed and some pyjamas for her to wear. Otila liked the pyjamas. We should try to get some sleep, said the skull. The skeleton will come soon enough. Otila blew out the light. They slept deeply and, pe and peacefully for a long time. The house was dark and very quiet until, in the middle of the night, a headless skeleton opened the bedroom door. From somewhere in the skeleton's chest came a voice, but it only shouted one thing. Give me that skull. I want that skull. The skeleton ran into the room. It was faster than Otila had expected. She had just enough time to grab the skull before it reached him. The skeleton pulled at the skull, trying to get him away from her. But Otila held on tight. She did not let go. Finally, she got the skull free. She slipped past the skeleton and ran for the door. Give me that skull. I want that skull. Give me that skull. I want that skull. Give me that skull. I want that. Damn. Uh, he's fallen. They watched the skeleton fall into the dark until they heard it land. The sound of bones hitting the ground. They listened some more, but they did not hear anything after that. All right, said Otila. Time for bed. Otila carried the skull quietly back down to the bedroom. She put him on the pillow and tucked him under the blanket. Then she put on her coat. Aren't you going to sleep too, said the skull. In a little while, said Otila, patting the skull gently. I'll be back soon. She blew out the light and closed the bedroom door. Part 4. The bones, the fire, the pit. Otila went to the kitchen and found a bucket, a kettle with tea, leaves, a teacup and a rolling pin. Then she went out into the night and climbed down slowly and carefully to where the skeleton had fallen. 
When she got to the bottom, she found the skeleton's bones scattered everywhere. She gathered them into the bucket. She found every single one. Otila carried the bucket of bones to a rock. She took a bone out of the bucket and put it in and put it on the rock. Then she took out the rolling pin, held it over her hand and smashed the bone. She smashed it over and over into smaller and smaller pieces until the pieces were as small as they could get. Then she took out another bone and she did it again. She did it to all of them. Then Othila made a fire. She made it huge and top. She melted some snow in the kettle with the tea leaves and made tea over the fire. Then she took the bone pieces and threw them into the flames. She poured her tea into the teacup and drank it as she watched the pieces burn to ash. When the fire was over, she gathered the ashes into the bucket and carried it back up the hill. Back to the house, she went down the dun to the dungeon and dropped the whole bucket into the bottom with snow. She watched it fall into the dark and listened. It did not make a sound. Then she climbed back upstairs and went to bed. Part 5. Breakfast. In the morning, Otila and the skull had, had breakfast. Otila made tea and picked some pears from the branches. I'm sorry last night was so frightening, said the skull. Otila smiled and patted the skull. It's over now, she said. Thank you for helping me, said the skull. You're welcome, said Otila. I wonder if the skeleton will ever come back, said the skull. Otila cut a piece of pear. It won't, she said. The skull looked out the window. It's a nice day outside, he said. Do you want to go for a walk? He went for a walk. It was a nice day outside. Otila stopped and gave the skull a bite of pear. It went through him and fell onto the sledge. Thank you, said the skull. He took another bite. You know, he said, chewing the pear, you can stay here with me if you want. Do you want me to say, said Otila? Yes, said the skull. I do. All right, said Otila. The end. And, guys, did you know there's a hidden part of the, of the vlog that I'm going to be doing next time? I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's close to one of the paintings up there. And by the way, guys, say hi to my mum. She's just, um, she's like, chilling over here. Um, hi. Yeah. Um, she's like, okay. Okay, bye.